I'm Jay Manaberry and you're watching Sled Ed 24-7. <laughs> Tell me about your friend. This guy is a loose cannon. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? We are on our way up to a secret location in Wyoming. We're taking the uh, Sledhead 24-7 guys out. It's a gorgeous bluebird day, and we've probably got some fresh snow somewhere. We'll find it. I've been riding sleds since I can remember. I mean, uh, my dad took me when I was pretty much out of the womb, so it was about then till two, and then I got on a 120, and the rest is history. I'm a Skidoo ambassador, or a backcountry expert. Ride their sleds and, and show the general consumer what it, what it can do, and, and you know how good of a machine it is. And, and uh, really highlight what the engineers and everybody behind it, you know, all the work they put into it and, and really just basically show what it does. So my favorite sled year to date is hands down the 165, 850, Gen 4. Um, everything from the power to the handling is phenomenal. Uh, I can't believe that they keep coming up with these, these sleds and the motor packages and, and keep reducing the weight but yet not sacrificing strength. Uh, it's, it's just unbelievable what they'll do and where we can go with them. And uh, I got invited over by Jay to come along and of course I never turn that down because anytime I go with Jay it's, it's, a, it's always a riot. Uh, seems like we're always in some pretty funny situations. It's an extreme cat and mouse game, is the way I like to put it. Um, it seems like most time we go riding, we don't go very far, but uh, we're extremely wore out and we burn a lot of gas. Um, just kind of the way it goes. And today we had the turbos out, and of course when you have the turbos out, it's way more fun. Things get pretty western and, and mixed with some good laughs and some, some good stucks. It's been a dream of mine since I was a little kid to be at a factory level with someone likes Skidoo, so um, I couldn't ask for anything more really and I just can't believe that it actually happened. It's, it's still surreal, but at the same time I'm, I'm just trying to live it up and, and make the best of it.